What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? It's just getting more Randy. How you doing today? I hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. How you doing? What's going on, you guys? If you're new to my channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. We love having you guys here. Remember, click that like and subscribe button down there. Go ahead. Do it now. We'll wait. <laughs> Skin time. Yes, you guys, click that like and subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers. Okay, okay, I love you guys, you're the best. So, today I'm going to make a quick video. You guys, a lot of the country, we're going through extreme heat. Extreme high temperatures. Our high today is supposed to be 99 with the uh, index of maybe a 111, 115 I. Just know it's hot, y'all. It's hot out here, okay? Okay. And I just got home from work and I just had to come and put on my skinny boy Randy t shirt. It's nice, fresh, and cool. But I'm also in the shade. If you have to go outside in your garden, you guys, please be safe. I beg you, please be safe. You don't want to get all the way out in a field of corn somewhere and fall out because we don't want you to be out there and don't nobody know where you at. Okay? And we're going to call who? 9 youtube to try to find you. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Are you wondering what's going on with my squash? My zucchini, my peppers, they're dying. They're funny looking. Yeah, you guys, all that good stuff. Today I'm going to share with you some common problems of squash zucchini and peppers okay okay now we're not professionals we never put a claim to be all we do is what we want to do how we want to do it and our little skinny boy farms and you can do the same okay okay it's working for us i love you guys thank you so much for being here leave a comment share the video you're the best hope you caught me on cbs 6 news wtvr cbs 6 yes your skinny boy ready made his news debut you guys i was on the news my local news Awesome, awesome, awesome. Even though I was in that YouTube com uh, commercial, it's nothing like having your local your local station recognize you and tell you what a great job you're doing and how you're helping people, not only with gardening, but with a lot of mental issues, uplifting spirits. It's just a blessing to my heart, y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know I do this for you. I do this for you. I can't do it for anybody else. I can't be anybody else. I can only be Skinny Boy Randy. Okay, okay. So now that we got all of that out the way, let's just dive right in, dive right into this video. It's so hot, y'all got me tongue tied. Okay. So I've been growing a red pepper, a bell red pepper, and it was doing so well, getting so big, and then it started to turn red. And I'm thinking, okay, we're doing good. We're in business. We're in business. And then you come outside. And you have this. See that? See? Can y'all see this? You see all that? And look up under there. Now notice the difference. I'm going to explain it. See how beautiful and perfect this is? And like it's about to turn red? And then look at this. What is that you might ask? It's sunburned, you guys. I let my baby sunburn. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. But I think I can save half of it because sunburn is uh, sunburn is different from a disease. It's not a disease. This is sunburn, you guys. And the way the pepper, uh, the plant is sitting, it's not a lot of shade, which, hey, we just learned something new, you guys. Okay, when it gets this hot like this, I'm going to move these closer to the house where it's a little more shady because uh, clearly they don't like that direct sunlight because under here, green, out here, burnt. Okay, okay. So we're going to go ahead and harvest this so she can focus on making other peppers. Now see, look at that side. And then around here, it got sunburn. You know, maybe we can get some seeds out of it. It's a great plant. But that direct sunlight just burned her up. She couldn't take it. I'm out here now. Look at me sweating. I can't take it. I'm not going to be out here long, y'all. Okay, because I ain't trying to fall out. Y'all, I'll be them fell out. I'm back. Oh, Lord. Heat wave. So, yeah, you guys, keep your peppers out of direct sunlight once they get a uh, size like this, unless you have them in a shaded area. And let me show you what I mean by that. Over here in our raised bed, we have, see some peppers down in here? Doing perfect. Look at the leaves. Now, I'm going to show you the difference, even in the raised bed. Now, these are covered in other... Uh, vegetables that I planted so they get shade 
but they also get a little of the sun now one of my pepper plants got so large the exact same plant that it stuck out look at this y'all you see how droopy that is look that's because it's in this direct sunlight you see it's not getting the shade of all these other plants which I tried to plant some things to give it some shade and it just didn't now it still has some baby peppers on here like right here uh, oh matter of fact we got some some bigger peppers but look in this extreme heat this is what it does and I'm praying that it pops back up and I'll probably be putting a shade cloth over here to give this plant some shade now that I know it's grown so tall and it's not liking this heat like this okay okay and see our pepper plants down here doing great look at the leaves fine peppers growing they have a little shade yeah you guys it's extremely hot out here you have to take care of your peppers you have to make sure that you're giving them plenty of water and that you're not watering on the leaves in the middle of the day if you have to water in the middle of the day put the water around the soil and pull it into a shaded spot so she can soak up all that energy and not focus on trying to save herself from the burning sun okay okay and now squash zucchini i'm going to talk about those as almost like the same type of plant because they're in the same family and they pretty much do the same thing they just look different and taste a little different now a lot of people ask me what is going on with my squash why is it turning brown at the end and it's all soft and mushy can you guys see in here why is it turning brown and mushy most of the time that comes from poor pollination which means the bees have not got to your female plant like they should oh this plant has a lot can you all see all these and i only hand pollinated one and that was this one the one before that turned brown at the end and died and I thought I had pollinated it but apparently you have to get out super duper early y'all to pollinate because the bees will eat all that pollen right off of the male flower and I'm out here just dabbing and dabbing and trying to get the pollen over there to, to pollinate the uh, the squash or zucchini and ain't no pollen on the daggone thing okay okay dry as a bone so yeah you have to get out super duper early to pollinate your corn I'm, your corn your squash and your zucchini okay you guys also i always plant my uh squash and zucchini on the side of the house for some reason it loves a brick wall on the side that's just in my opinion and i've been growing them for the past uh few years and in my opinion they love it up against the house i think it's because they get shade like right now, it's super duper sunny out here, but they're right here by the house. And look at those leaves. You don't see any holes in these leaves. You don't see anything eating these leaves. Yeah, just beautiful, healthy leaves, which means your plant is doing great. I've never fertilized this plant out here in Mother Nature's soil. I've never fertilized it, not a day. So yeah, you guys, make sure if you're going to hand pollinate, you have to get out there early and really do it. Now, squash bugs and um, all those other type of pests, I'm going to do a video just on squash bugs and pests that will eat up all of our things. It's like hornworms and uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of beetles. Certain beetles will, will eat you out of house in the garden, okay? Okay. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to share those few little tips with you. When you see your pepper looking like that, hey, it happens, okay? Okay, that's a part of gardening. You live, you love, you laugh, you grow stuff, and you might can't eat it all the time, but you try and eat it, okay? Okay, I love you guys. You're the best. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. Go check out WTVR.com. Click on the link for the gardening videos. They featured me twice. So check both of the videos out you guys thank you we've grown to over 10,000 viewers how could I forget to say thank you for that over over 10,000 followers I mean not viewers followers oh my god you guys we've reached 10,000 over 10,000 oh my goodness I can't thank you enough for all of your support it it's only because of you you guys 
thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. You are the best. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not the two middle fingers. Remember, live, love, laugh.